Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to create an OSX El Capitan USB installer drive. Okay guys, so why would you want to create this installer drive? Well let's say if you wanted to do a clean install of OSX El Capitan on your Mac, then what you could do is you could use the USB to quickly reinstall um, or do a fresh install on your Mac. Um, you could also use this to install OSX on other Macs if you wanted to. Okay, so uh, in an earlier video, I showed you how to download uh, the uh, application OSX El Capitan, and I'll put a link to the video to that video now. Okay, and so what we're going to do here, guys, is just right-click on it and go copy and copy it to your desktop here. Just make a backup copy of it, and then what we'll do is we'll get started by actually uh, copying this file or the contents of the, either of these files into the uh, USB to create the uh, OSX uh, installer drive. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do guys is um, you'll need to actually go up to Finder and type in Terminal and start up your terminal there. Now you'll need to have admin rights, so what do I mean when I say admin rights? You need to have an admin, so if we go, um, you need to have your user as an admin, so if we go into System Preferences, go into Users and Groups, and you can see here that my user, 123myit, has admin rights. Now, if you don't have that admin rights, you need to go in here and you can configure it and give yourself admin rights or log on as another user that does have the admin rights. Okay, so you'll need admin to uh, perform this task. Okay, the next thing that you'll need, guys, is you'll need a USB drive. have got a Lexar one. It's a 16 gigabyte one. Uh, I believe you can use 8 gigabyte, but if you're um, concerned, you can probably just buy a 16 gig uh, one just in case. The next thing you'll need is just this code, okay? And what I'll do is I'll put a link into the description to the 123MyIT uh, article and you'll be able to copy this uh, link from that article so it'll be up shortly. If we then go into Terminal and right click and just go Paste, we want to paste that in there. So let's just go through this real quick. So what it's, what it's going to say is sudo Applications install OSX El Capitan app, which is this one here, um, but it's actually under the applications uh, menu and it's going to uh, create install media, okay, and then volumes El Cap installer. So, what it wants to do here, this part here, um, we need to name our USB L cap installer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just uh, right click on that, hit rename, okay, and then I'm going to type in L cap installer. Now remember, this will be case sensitive probably as well, so you need to make that name there the same as this uh, part here, okay. Once that's done, we should be right to go. All we need to do is just hit return. Okay. Now it says improper use of the sudo command could lead to loss of, could lead to data loss. Um, all right. So we just want to put in our password now. All right. So that's your admin password. Remember how I talked a bit, little bit about the uh, users and groups here under this one, and then your admin. It, it'll be the password for this account. All right, you can see there it's erasing the disk. The disk has disappeared. Okay, the name has changed now, so now it's no, no longer LCAP installer. It's now install OS X L Capitan. And you can see there it's copying installer files to the disk. Okay, so it's actually quite a large file, guys, so it will take a little bit of time, um, you know, depending on the speed of your Mac to actually go through and create this uh, USB installer. So I would say maybe 10, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So just let that run. Okay, you can see there that it's finishing up. So it just said copying installer files to disk, copy complete, making disk bootable, copy boot files, copy complete, and then done. Okay. 
So now if we go back, close that terminal window and go to OSX installer. And you can see there we've got our same logo. And if we double click on it, bang, up comes our OSX installer window. Okay guys, so in a later video, what, we'll sh what I'll do is I'll show you how to actually use this uh, USB to, to do a uh, clean install of OSX on your Mac. Um, so keep an eye out for that one. And that's pretty much it from me. So if this was helpful guys, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.